I don't think there's a single life that I know that doesn't have art in it. It doesn't matter what kind of art it is. It could be music, it could be uh, movies, it could be novels, it could be all kinds of different things. But everybody has some engagement with the humanities through at least the medium of art. Computer science is now becoming something that is a pervasive feature of many, many different fields, not just in engineering, but in social sciences and in the humanities as well. So we're taking an engineering discipline and a humanities discipline, several humanities disciplines, we're trying to bring them together. There are issues of ethics in computer science now, there are issues about privacy, there are issues about human uh, interactions with computers, there are issues about design, about aesthetics, about subjectivity, about narrative, about psychology. This is all the ter traditional terrain of the humanities. So bringing these two disciplines together, computer science and the humanities, should, and this is what we're going to find out during this pilot phase, bring us a lot of new answers about how far these two worlds can be integrated. I've always really enjoyed having CS students in my poetry classes. So poetry is a, I don't know, some people would call it an acquired taste. Um, and it is a very rarefied and, and complex form of, of expression. And in that sense, it's a little bit like code, which is also rarefied, complex, not always understandable at first. We don't all have to become digital humanists or humanistic engineers. But I'm very sympathetic to the idea that people uh, would like to bring these two worlds together. That's happening at the faculty level, at, re at the research level, where a lot of research projects make use of computational technology now. But I think just as importantly, it's also happening in an organic way at the student level. Either this year or the previous year was the first class to enter university who had always only had the internet with them. They were born at the moment when the internet was born, and so it's just been a, a kind of reality of life for students of that age. A lot of students are now keeping, um, keeping their passions alive in two areas that might once have seemed kind of disparate from one another, but now seem like they might be congruent.